Tent. You know what I discovered over, uh, over uh, in August? It was a rainy day and my nieces were visiting, right? Yes. And, then, and I didn't contr get control of the remote control. <laughs> wow. And they're, 15 and, they're seven, 16 and 17 years old. And it was a rainy day. And so they were watching. They, they had already commandeered the remote control. And they were watching Gilmore Girls. Oh, my God. I had never seen it. I was very upset that I was going to have to watch it. But by the third episode, oh my I was God. in. It I was in. I was crying. I think about Lorelai all the time. Oh, Lorelai. I think about your produce. Oh, my pro You're very particular about your produce. He was, he was on a text chain with my nieces now called, the three of them, the Gilmore Girlers. That's oh the text my chain. God. Yeah, that show just it seemed, catches you. It's the first time <laughs> I had a regular job. And it was, it was literally, I think I said, by the time I'm 30, I was starting to do like production, and I liked that quite a bit. And I liked both sides of it. And I thought, if I don't have a job by the time I'm 30, I'm going to go the way of production and try pro pr do production or producing sure. or some yeah. kind of thing because it's just not going to happen. And I can't keep calling my mom and dad at 30 to be like, I'm $24 short on my electric <laughs> right, bill. Right, right. And then I think two weeks before my 30th birthday, I got Gilmore. Amazing. And then it, it just Amazing. was, it was a, it was a life changing an answer to this. And it is, I, I feel like people have ownership of that show, which I think it, it that makes it fun because it, it was sweet to see a mother and daughter be such good friends instead of they always, you know, they always show the combative side. Right. But I loved how, well, it how good that. Me. Oh my God. I love that you're hooked, hooked on that. Yeah. Oh he's, a he's a Gilmore girl. I'm a girler. You're a girler, a girler. guys. Yeah. Who saw that coming?